what if you need to give a gift to as a bonus you know let's say you're participating in a tele summit and they want you to have a bonus and you're going to give a bonus of something you typically sell or something that you typically only give to a closed group so the simplest way of doing that which is what i do is to put that bonus now let's say also that the bonus is a video videos are a nice way to to give a bonus it, it feels valuable so I would put that video, therefore, on YouTube as an unlisted video. You know, when you when you publish a YouTube video, they give you several options of privacy. Do you want it to be private? Don't do that because then you have to give people, you have to know people's specific email addresses connected to the YouTube account. You have to add those in manually to give them access to it. Too much work. The second option is unlisted, which is what I do for all my course videos, which means, hey, anyone who has this YouTube link can access the video, you know, then it's, easy to, it's easier for everyone I send it to to access it. And then the third option is public, which is everyone in the world can search it on YouTube and find it, et cetera. So unlisted is a great option for bonus videos that you're giving out, right? And for course videos, et cetera. Okay, so the simplest way is when you're giving a bonus, you just give people the unlisted video YouTube link and they'll be able to access the video. Great, and you could, under the YouTube video in the description area, you can add more. So if you wanna sign up to my email list, or if you want to work with me one-to-one, -one, you know, whatever links you wanna put in any other description under the video, you can put that in the description uh, area of the YouTube video when you upload it. Now, that's the simplest way. A little bit more sophisticated way, takes a little bit more work, but probably is worth it, is to create an unlisted page on your website. What is an unlisted page? It's a web page on your website that is not going to show up in the navigation bar. It's not going to show up in navigation. So you hide it from the navigation bar. You also hide it from the search engines. So whatever website platform you use, whenever you create a web page, there is an option. There's a checkbox somewhere. You got to ask your website platform, how do I hide this web page from the search engines? Meaning Google will not, people cannot Google it and find it. Okay, so create an unlisted web page on your website. And on that web page, you embed the YouTube video. YouTube makes it easy for you to embed by giving you a, a code, a HTML code. You copy that code, you, you embed it onto your web page. So now when people land on that web page, it's nice. They see the embedded YouTube video. They can play the video right there for your web page. And on that web page, you can, you can put any other information or links or you know, opt-in box for your email newsletter. You could do anything else you want. Uh, as an introduction to the video and also as a follow on to the video below the video, you can say, OK, if you'd like to you know, work with me one to one or, or you want to say, here's another article that's related or here's another video that, you know, whatever you want to put, you could do that. So that's the second step, right, to make it a little bit more sophisticated as a, as a gift. The third step, if you want to go even further and make it more sophisticated, is to assuming that you want to capture their email address certain telesummits or other bonus places say, yeah, it's okay. People can go to that page and sign up for your bonus. They have, now you have their email address. So that's optional if, if that's allowed, if that's appropriate. Then basically what you would do is to set up uh, an email list in your email list software, whether it's an email list or an email list group or an email list tag, however your email list is set up, you would set up that, uh, you know, that, that email list with the confirmation email, giving them the link to your web page where you have the embedded video. So that way you can keep in touch with them with your monthly newsletter, or you can you can create a sequence of emails to follow up, maybe one or two other emails to say, did you watch the video or did you get the bonus? Um, you know, and did you, and by the way, those of you who are saying, George, what if it's not a video? What if it's an art, what if it's a, a PDF or what if it's an audio? Well, instead of using YouTube unlisted in the first step, you would simply use Google Drive. You would upload the audio or the PDF to a Google Drive, you know, to your Google Drive and then share, click on the share, you know, Google Drive privacy, click on the share for that audio file or PDF and make it anyone with the link can, can access it. So, so these are the ways, you know, to kind of share some kind of bonus with an audience.